life-saving organ transplants optional, derided them as Cadillac treatment, and in our number one story, as Arizona Governor Jan Brewer considers another round of death panels, she tells a reporter for British television that if her constituents are so concerned about saving people's lives, don't ask her, ask Washington for the money. You know, more money beyond the money Washington already gave her that she spent on arena roof repair. In a moment, yet another Arizonan denied a heart transplant by Brewer's death panel. Douglas Gravania will join us. Brewer and the Republican-led state legislature are now contemplating axing state Medicaid coverage for hundreds of thousands of Arizonans. A Brewer spokesman telling the Associated Press the program called Access remains the largest single state budget problem that we're dealing with. Brewer was at a public event when asked about her decision to deny nearly 100 citizens organ transplants, asked by Sarah Smith, a correspondent for Great Britain's Channel 4. How many transplant patients in Arizona have to actually die before you're prepared to reverse the decision not to fund their operations? You know, that's a real difficult, uh, unfair question in my opinion. You know, uh, certainly we have made budget cuts. The bottom line is, is that Arizona simply doesn't have the money. And I It's only five million dollars. You must be able I to find that, it somewhere else. I wish that, um, you know, I've got a one billion dollar deficit uh, facing uh, the state of Arizona. The bottom line is we simply don't have the money. I would suggest that people would go to the federal government and ask them to send us stimulus dollars to support these transplants if that's what they want. They do. sent you nearly 200 million in stimulus dollars. Why can't you use those for the transplant patients? $200 million dollars. They were sent to, the air, to, to um, Arizona and they have been expended in a proper manner. Next question, please. But what do you say to people who say this is just a GOP death panel? Next question, please. The governor's office providing a list to the Arizona Republic newspaper as to how that federal money had been spent, a partial and utterly unspecific list that includes $12 million dedicated to attracting new business, $10 million to border security and enhancement, $50 million to state prisons. And as for Brewer's suggestion that her constituents should ask for more federal money, just yesterday Brewer applauded a judge's decision to declare part of the Affordable Care Act unconstitutional. That same law that would pick up 100% of the tab in order for states to expand Medicaid problems till 2016, 90% after 2020. Today the governor posting this heartfelt message and illustration on her Facebook page. Wishing you and your family a rosy Christmas, one that glows with warm blessings of the season and a we-can-do-it spirit throughout the new year. Year. Presumably that we can do it spirit refers to those who are not living in Jan Brewer's Arizona. Joining me now, as promised, is Douglas Gravania. He was denied money for a heart transplant by the state of Arizona. A reminder in advance that you can donate to his fund or anyone else's through the National Transplant Assistant Fund, Assistance Fund, forgive me, at ntafund.org. Thank you for some of your time tonight, sir. Thank you, Keith. How are you feeling? I feel weak and tired. It's uh, cardiomyopathy that you have, the, the weakening of the muscles of the heart. Can you describe in brief how that affects your day-to-day -day activities? Keith, I have non-ischemic cardiomyopathy, so I have a diseased heart, and um, it makes me extremely tired. I sleep a lot, and I have trouble walking and breathing. Um, I used to work 16 hours a day, and that is taken, my life has been taken away from me. I need a transplant. I need a heart. Uh, the doctors have you currently uh, being treated with medication. Is that working to any degree? It's, it's making me weaker is what it's doing. It's, it's creating anxiety. So, no, I would say not. This year, as we understand it, you've been hospitalized 11 times in a little over 11 months, and they also laid you off from your job. If you do not get that transplant that you quite accurately say you need, what happens? I will die, Keith. When, I'm sorry, when, when you hear that, that $50 million of federal money was given to state prisons in Arizona, instead of, say, you know, $45 million to state prisons and $5 million to organ transplants so people like you don't get knocked off this list, how does that fact make you feel? It hurts me because there's, there's people out there, not just me, but other families that need organ transplants, and we're good citizens. We are productive to society, and it's just wrong. We just watched the tape of uh, Governor Brewer suggesting that, that people in Arizona ask the federal government for more stimulus money, 
and then giving that list of uh, of where this money went to, and we mentioned the prisons, and we mentioned to attracting attracting new businesses. I mean, are you satisfied with the response from that interview that 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 clip that we showed? Not satisfied at all, Keith. Tell me why not. Because I believe she has thirty million that uh, she has in funds that she hasn't said what it's for, and for the small amount that each taxpayer would pay in this state for a transplant. It just seems unfair. Anything else here, with as you have the floor, as we say, that you'd like to say to Governor Brewer or the members of the Arizona legislature, particularly the Republicans? I would like to say that I, I'd like to know how she sleeps at night, to choose to decide whether I, I live or die, and all the other families that are out there that need organ transplants. It's not right. I want to live, and I do not want to die. You're aware uh, politically of of the uh, of the backlash within the state about this that the Democrats are hoping next month to to uh, to undo what what the Republicans did uh, in the state legislature. Are you are you hopeful that this will happen in time for you? I don't believe so, but I got to keep hope. But I don't believe so. How on earth do you go on if you don't believe so? Day to day. Keith, you know, I have good support system, I have my parents, I have family, and it's all positive around me. But again, I'm the one with the affliction. I'm going through the pain and the suffering, so I have a great support system. The, uh, the, the, the nature of, of how we treat each other in this country um, and how some people are capable of not caring about other people because whatever the reason might be. Have you seen that change in your lifetime? Have you seen this country change to where we're not taking care of each other anymore? Mm, somewhat. I mean, that's, uh, that could be a touchy subject, but, you know, I am being, you know, taken care of now as far as hospitalization, yeah. and, but I, I need the heart. If I don't get a heart, if I don't get listed, Keith, I'm going to die. And I don't want to die. I want to live. I'm only 44 years old. I'm a young man. And there's other transplant people out there that are, have different afflictions but are still the same. Yeah. So what's happening in Arizona is completely wrong. Douglas Gravania, we thank you for your time this evening and, uh, and for being so forthright about it. And we wish you the best of luck with it. Thank you, Keith, and thank you, MNBC. I appreciate it.